Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be describing how you can create panoramas from multiple images using OpenCV. Uh, much of the processing pipeline used for creating panoramas is very similar to the steps we described in the image alignment video. Uh, since panoramas require image alignment, we still need to find key points and descriptors in each of the images and also determine their pairwise correspondences uh, through a feature matching process. And we also need to estimate the homographies to facilitate uh, image warping. And then once uh, images have been transformed in this way, uh, we need an additional step to stitch and blend the images uh, together so they look realistic. And fortunately, there's a high level convenience function in OpenCV that's available in the Stitcher class that allows us to create panoramas by simply passing in a list of images. However, we do think it's important to understand the underlying concepts, but since we covered much of this uh, material in great detail in the image alignment video, we're simply going to use the Stitcher class in this example to show you just how easy it is to create panoramas with a single function call. Uh, just remember that images used to create panoramas need to be taken from the same vantage point, ideally on a tripod that is panning around the uh, optical axis of the camera. And it's also important to take the photos at roughly the same time in order to minimize any lighting changes between the images. So adhering to these suggestions will lead to the best results. So let's get started and take a look at the code that's required. Here in this first cell block, we're importing some required modules. And then uh, in this next code section, we're using glob to retrieve the file names from a subdirectory. And then uh, in this for loop here, we're simply reading in each of the file names and converting the images from BGR to RGB, and then appending each image to a list of images. And then in this next section here, uh, we're simply plotting each of the images. So you can see the sequence here, there's six images total. And then finally, in the last section here, you can see that we're gonna be able to create the panorama in just two lines of code. So we do that by creating a stitcher object from the stitcher underscore create class. And then we use that object to call the stitch method and we simply pass in the list of images and the result we get here is the uh, panorama image so that's shown below uh, the only thing we would uh, mention at this point is that the uh, return panorama includes these black regions here which are a result of the uh, warping that was required to stitch the images together and we'd just like to mention that maybe one thing you might consider doing is writing your own code to uh, programmatically crop out that black image. You could use a combination of uh, thresholding techniques, uh, bitmaps, and contour finding uh, to do that task. So that's all we really wanted to cover in this video. And uh, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.